I'm Peter Humelik from uh, BigBrush.com. Uh, last week we did a two-point perspective drawing of a barn. This week we'll do the painting. I've added a silo in just for a little added interest to it. The first thing we'll do is start painting the sky. Next two colors on my palette, cobalt blue and a little bit of alizarin crimson as we paint the sky. The reason for the alizarin, I want to add a little bit of alizarin to the blue to get a little bit of purple because purple is a secondary color and I'm going to paint some evergreen trees in the foreground and purple and, and green being secondary colors go well together. So, okay, the first thing, I've got two little puddles of cobalt and alizarin. Start mixing in the cobalt doing some negative painting, painting around everything, going around the silo, come down to my horizon line, the cobalt blue, right to the silo, go right around the silo, come down the other side, and the roof on the barn, working very, very wet. Okay, that gets the cobalt in. I'm adding a little bit of alizarin. It's sort of come down right to the horizon line because I have a little bit of that green, evergreen trees. And they work well together. Come on the other side. Okay, now we'll just, that's, that, that's it for the sky, we'll just let that dry, then we'll work into the barn. Okay, we uh, got the hair dryer out and dried the sky. The sky was never, it wasn't really intended to be very dramatic, it's just background music for the painting. The colors are in, end up a little bit lighter, but that, that's not a big deal. So now we're going to work on the barn. We're going to use a combination of Gamboge and La Siena. So make a puddle. Raw sienna, a little puddle of gamboge, and we're going to, the light source is from the left hand side. We're going to paint uh, the, the barn with the same colors right off the bat, then we'll put the shadow in a little bit later. So here comes, this is very, very light, that light side of the barn using a one inch flat brush. Go right to the other side. Working very quickly. Okay, now I'm going to put the dryer to that, and we'll put the shadow on the right-hand side. Okay, now we're going to paint the shadow side. We've got the, uh, we already have the uh, raw sand. It's going to add a little bit of cobalt blue to the raw sand over here, a little bit of alizarin. That's going to give me a gray. If we get the right mixture here, we should get a, a gray look. Let's, let's take a run with that. And gray this side. Okay, that, that'll do it. Gray this side down over here. And we'll do that same color. We're going to put it, put uh, paint the silo with that gray looking color as well. Come into the silo. We we'll can either have snow on the roof of the barn, but I think we'll just forget about that and paint 
the same gray in the barn. Part on the barn roof. We'll let that dry and start working on some of the other detail. Okay, put the hair dryer to, to it and we dried everything off. I just lifted a bit with a damp brush uh, some of the barn roof to get a little bit lighter over here. I'll do a couple to make a light on the, uh, the left hand side of the silo as well, but I'll do that later. So the first thing is getting uh, a mixture of uh, Prussian blue and burnt sienna. So that'll give me a very, very dark green. So the green and the purple go well together, so I just start painting right along that uh, the horizon line with the green. Come back on the other side. Lucy Goose brush and work on some of the other, uh, the other greens. snow in. And all I'm going to do is take a little bit of ultramarine blue and rapidly, maybe three or four strokes only, very quickly, one across here, maybe one down through there. And that'll take, that'll take care of painting the snow in the foreground. We'll let that dry, then we're going to start working on some of the details. Okay, the, the left hand side of the silo, I'm going to lighten that up. Uh, so, in, in the shadow on the, on the right hand side, so the first thing I'm going to do is get some masking tape. And just put it along the edge of the silo. Rubber brush. It's going to rub out some of the color on this side over here. lightens up that, side, that, that left hand side. Now the next thing, I'm going to come in on the right hand side and paint a little bit darker in that shadow. Touch of alizarin, raw sienna, 
Or a gray. A little darker on the right hand side. And I'm just going to add water to the left hand side of that, the left edge of that. So it gradually gets a little bit lighter. It moves over to the right hand side. The left hand side, pardon me. Okay. Now we'll work on, on the barn. Let's get ourselves a great, uh, work on the right hand side, I get a great, no, I'll, I'll put the shadows in first, I'm going to over the overhang, now there's a, a shadow underneath here, get that shadow in. Shadow under under the roof over here. That shadow also comes right down to this that little ad, ad, barn addition. And the slight shadow under here that just softens up a bit as, as it moves down a little. And we'll work on well, part of the left hand side of the bar. We'll put a couple broken windows in. I'm just getting a flat brush. Ultramarine blue, burnt sienna. Put that crack in right through here. See a couple other broken boards in. Just do some a little bit of glazing. The burnt sienna, raw sienna. Come to the left hand side. I'll put a big door in. The old barn door. That's ultramarine and burnt sienna. Do you have to follow your perspective lines there too when you do this? Oh, I see you do. A little, little window on top over here. Little door in this little shed at the side, the back. And we'll let that dry. We'll come in with some more detail. I put the dryer to it just to dry off a little bit. I'm just going to scrape in some texture. The door and the window over here. A little bit of interest. This might be too dry. I can get a little bit of scraping in there. And with that blade, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue. I take some paint up with it. And a couple of cracks in that, in the door, maybe one not coming down through here, along that, that edge on the, on the roof. character. Then on the silo, just a couple 
little, but some of these round show the roundness of that side of the silo. Closer I get to the bottom, the flatter they become. You let that dry. And then, no, I'm going to come in and put some fence posts right along the bottom. So let that. Half inch flat brush. I'll put one in about here. Move along another one over here. Move along one about here. You start to get smaller as we get back in the distance. One over here and one there. Now that side is the got buyer wires. Taking that little blade, I'm going to just scrape in. Some barbed wire on that flat fence. On the light side, with a little palette knife, and scrape down some on the left hand side of those fence posts. Be a little bit lighter, and we're also casting some shadows in the snow. You let that dry, and we'll just finish up some more of the detail. We're going to weather the wood. Right hand side, just some a little bit of burnt sienna. Couple other areas. And come on that left hand side, the same thing. Give it a little bit of a weathered look to the barn. A little bit of cobalt. Little round brush. The right hand side, I was casting a little bit of a shadow. Ultramarine blue, let's cast that. Shadow on the left hand side. Bit of rust along that roof, so a little bit of ultramarine, uh, burnt sienna, a couple little dabs of rust along. 
can darken up that one side of the silo as well. contrast as it goes to the, to the left hand side. And that'll do it. Alright, till the next time gang, keep your stick on the ice. I'm Peter Humanick and uh, we'll see you again.